Houston, I think we've got a problem. This is freaking crazy. Woo. So what we're doing today is a smoke test. A smoke test is the best way to find out if you have sewer gases leaking into your house. Now sometimes people have problems with the dry trap or something like that. So if you actually do have sewer gas smells in your house, you may just want to check and see if you've got a tub, a lavatory, anything like that, that is dried out and maybe you're getting sewer gas smell back up from your sewer system. That's a normal thing. So if you do have traps that maybe don't get used often, it's a wise idea to go in there every now and then, turn the water on, fill the trap up. That way you don't have that sewer gas smell. So what we're going to do first is, look, you don't need to invent anything crazy. All we're trying to do is make sure that the smoke does not get back into the city sewer main. The reason being, I don't want to induce smoke here and have it come up in a neighbor's house. Maybe they do have a dry trap and they've got smoke coming up. Now they're worried that their house is on fire or something like that. So what we're going to do is literally just put the test ball down in the two-way cleanouts and point it back towards the main. And once we go past the other two-way cleanout, we're good. All we've got to do is pump it up and that isolates this house from the city sewer main and any other house on the block. So now what we're gonna do, I've pushed the test ball past the two-way clean out. I'll look on the other side to verify that. Then what we'll do is we'll start putting the hose in, getting everything ready to put smoke into the system. All right, so I've got the two-way clean out here open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this into the hose and actually, Stick it down into the system. Now, as you can see, it seals off pretty good around there because I don't want a whole lot of smoke coming out. What I could do, I could tape it in. I could do different things like that. Even if there was a problem, I could put a rag around it just to make sure that no smoke comes out here. My whole purpose here is to get smoke into the house coming up the vents. So we'll set a camera up to show you the vents here. There's one around the backside we'll go look at in a minute, but then we'll go through the house once we get everything set up and get it going. So what we've got is the Superior Smoke Model 5E. This is great for residential. The good thing about it is it can also be used for small commercial. They do make bigger if you're testing mains or something like this. I like these machines because what I can do with this is I can induce the smoke down low and watch it come out the vents above. Once I know that's done, if I really wanted to try to create any pressure in there, I could go up and cap off some of these, but I'd rather not do that. If I ever do anything like that, what I do is I take a piece of foil and make a foil cap that I can just overlay it. That way it's light enough, the pressure will blow it up. I don't ever want to force any water out of any P-traps. So I don't want to cap them off like some people do. Now, the thing is we use smoke candles and smoke candles are not bad for you. The smoke candles are non-toxic. They're white and gray in color. They're not going to damage the house because you're not trying to fill the house with smoke. What you're trying to do is fill the plumbing system with smoke, but then if the smoke comes out anywhere in the house, that lets you know where you've got problems. Now, what we're going to do is once we put the smoke in, we're going to go inside and we're going to look around wall outlets. We're going to look around any plumbing, anywhere that smoke comes out, that lets us know there's a problem. The reason we're going to look around wall outlets there may be a vent pipe in a wall that has a hole in it, and if smoke's coming out that outlet, I can look back at the plumbing system and see what may be in there that we may be getting sewer gases out of. So again, I'm using the Model 5E. It's 180 cubic feet per minute. It's not going to push so much pressure in there that we blow out traps. That's a big deal because I don't want smoke coming out all over the house. We know the showers are full, the tubs are full, everything, all the P-traps in the house are full and wet, and you want to make sure you do that beforehand. You don't want to have a dry trap. You walk in and you've got a room full of smoke. You don't know where it came from. Dry the trap. That way, anywhere smoke appears, you know you've got a problem. So I've got the hose in the two-way clean out. I've got the superior smoke machine here ready to roll. All right, so we've got everything set up and ready. So what we're gonna do, what we're using is a 1A smoke candle. The 1A smoke candle goes for 30 seconds and it'll give me plenty of smoke to go through this. Now we could have gone a 2B, which is a 60 second candle, but what you wanna do, number one, you wanna look, it says smoke issues here. So we know right where it's gonna come out at. What we wanna do is we wanna put that up right here in front of the fan. That way it comes out dead center in front of the squirrel cage. Now I'm gonna bump the fan. As we see, it's turning on, everything's good. I'm gonna turn it back off now. I'm gonna light the fuse, let the fuse burn down. Once the smoke starts coming out, I'll turn it back on. That way it draws the smoke into the squirrel cage, runs it through the hose, puts it in the system. 
We'll see it coming out the vents in here. I'll go through and walk through the house just to make sure that there's not any smoke. Now we're not expecting any problems here, but it's always nice to see. Hi, this is Roger Wakefield with Texas Green Plumbing. I just want to call and let you know that we are doing a smoke test at in Dallas, Texas. I'm a plumbing company and what we do is we isolate the sewer. We basically put smoke bombs, blow them down in there. We're looking for a sewer gas leak inside the house. <laughs> yes, ma'am, no. When smoke comes out the vents on top, a lot of time people will see that and call the fire department. So we just want to call and let y'all know in advance. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Number one, make sure you always call the fire department. You want to make sure that they're aware of the fact that you're going to be doing it. A lot of times I'll even tell my guys when they get to the job, go ahead and call them again just to say, hey, look, I'm going to let you know right now we're putting smoke in now. That way if maybe they forgot to call somebody, you don't want the fire department out there. It could be bad. So as you can see, we've got the smoke going in. We've actually got the hose down in there. I'm gonna walk through the house and I'm gonna walk over here and look and see how the vents are done. So this Superior Model 5E is great for residential and small commercial. Like I said, they make different size candles, so if you need more. Now these are non-toxic candles. They're not gonna cause any problems in the house. But remember, you don't wanna just try to fill everything with smoke. You're trying to put enough smoke in the system to see if any leaks out anywhere. That's why to me, this is probably the best, safest equipment for plumbers to use. They can control it. If there does appear to be a big leak, you come out and turn the system off immediately. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you like it. And I hope you learn something that can help you make more money. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, The Expert Plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get smoked out.